Hello everyone, this is Rebecca Jane from Yoga with Rebecca Jane. I'm here to teach you three stretches for your lower back, lots of lower back, and it's also a, a opportunity to tone your tummy muscles, lower back stretches, tummy muscles, perfect. It's, it's also a spinal, a full spinal stretch. Um, for people who sit a lot, stand a lot, run, cycle, play sports, anybody can benefit from these. Just to let you know that, please hit, click my subscribe button or tap it um, so that you can get notifications um, of more of these classes that I keep creating on a regular basis, at least twice, three times a week. So feel free to please do that, that would be great. And comment any kind of stretches that you're interested in, that would be wonderful as well. So let me get started. We're going to start with standing. So come off of your chair, and we're, I'm going to show you the side version, but you can face me, obviously. The first one of the stretches for this, the spine, and it's also it's for a, it's a spinal stretch, but particularly the lower back and a tummy. Uh, it also strengthens your tummy muscles. So we start with the arms next to our sides. We roll down, tuck our chin, breathe in, and as you breathe out, lower yourself down. Now, not all of us can touch the gra ground, so you can bend your knees. I would suggest back, people with back issues, any back problems, always bend the knee. There's blocks, not everybody has blocks, but something you could put underneath you. And then take a breath in, and at the bottom, exhale, roll back up. Just let the arms dangle. This is called a ragdoll roll. And as you do this, pull the tummy muscles in, chin stays tucked. Your head is the very, very last to come up. I would suggest, let's do one more with me, but you can do five if you'd like. You could do, and then roll back down, or just do as many as I'm doing, three. So come all the way down, just let your arms dangle, dangle as long as they can, and maybe you need to touch the ground or touch your shins. Take a breath in, we're going to do one more roll up. And as you exhale, the tummy pulls in. It's good for pelvic floor muscles as well. And you're unfolding as you, you're going to lift, 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 and finally the head lifts up. So that feels really nice on your spine. Number two. <laughs> hands on your lower back. So you're just taking them and cradling your back, your sacrum with the, with the heels of the hands. Squeeze the elbows together. Take a breath and make sure the knees are soft or bent, but there's a softness to the knees. And squeeze your shoulder blades and lift your chest up. As you do this, push through the hips. You can even do this sitting on a chair and just holding the edge of the chair. But if you can, standing's fine too. And then if you want a little bit more intensity, just in case, you could take your hands and interlace them, squeeze the shoulder blades a little bit more and lift back. So this would be adding a shoulder stretch as well. But otherwise, this is just perfect. And then lift back up, inhale. and then just soften the shoulders down, shake out your head. And then the next one, I'll just swing around to show here. Reach your arms up, and then what you're going to do is take your right hand, with the thumb and index finger, wrap it around your left wrist, take a breath in, and stretch over to the right, and gently tug on your left wrist. This, is, this helps with carpal, carpal tunnel your carpal tunnel. So if you have the, it's a syndrome that is caused by too much uh, use of the mouse or repetitive movements. And it's, you, it's usually, if you're righty, it's your right, right wrist. Let's, let, let's release that wrist, do a few little circles, and then take your left hand, wrap it around that wrist as best as you can. Breathe in first, stretch, and then exhale over to the left. 
So you're stretching out your arms and also your spine and your right side. Your spine rarely stretches in sideway positions. We don't do that on a regular basis. So this is very important every day or at least every other day you can do these stretches. And then just let the arms float down. So three stretches for, um, for your spine, for tummy toning, arms and wrists. Um, every other day or every day. These are the ones you, you can actually do every day. Thank you for being with me. This is Rebecca Jane from Yoga with Rebecca Jane. Subscribe, comment, and I'll see you soon.